Hey everybody, Pinchy Al here, and this is Pinchy Al's Garage. We're still on season four. Today we're going to be doing a Mark IV GLI. Let me turn this music down. A Mark IV GLI. Uh, we're going to be doing what they call the uh, what do you call it, Alexis? Uh, the, the input shaft. Input shaft. Shim. Shim. Uh, this pretty much, uh, if you guys own any six-speed transmissions, uh, pretty much stops their chatter or rattle inside a six-speed transmission. This is a kit. Where you get it from? Uh, I got it from the dealership. Part number. Uh, well, I'll give it to Al. So yeah. Can you. So they actually, it's a shim that you guys actually use on the Mark V uh, six-speed transmissions, right? The O2Q. Yeah. The O2Q. This actually works with the O2H, which is the six-speed transmission. So. O2M, sorry, O2M. So, this is Pichiao's Garage, and let's get to work. going to need to do is to take the uh, driver's side wheel off put it on a jack stand I have a jack just chilling there but there's a, it's actually on a jack stand grab a flathead screwdriver and then just cram it on the side and pop the seal off and that's your input shaft right there and you'll see that play that's actually uh, natural apparently on a six-speed tranny on a mark 4 so this shim actually stops that chatter um, so there's a little clip on the inside you have to pull out. See so you guys see how that spins around? Yeah, that has to be pulled out. Um, so the trick here is to use two fly heads and pretty much split it and then pull the pin out uh, or the clip out. Uh, give me a second here and we'll just see if we see if we can find a way to do it quickly. All right, so we figured it out. So you're gonna need two 90 degree picks like this. And what you're gonna need to do is pu pull the input shaft towards you. It moves about a millimeter, about two millimeters out. You're gonna grab one, pull down one of the sides pull down and then the other one you're going to go underneath it and pull out and it should let you uh, pull the whole little pin out right here you'll see uh, there's a little clip I'll pull it out right now don't move the camera out of the way there's stupid things in the way there you go this is the clip I know I made it look easy, but it wasn't. So you're going to use one of these to hold it here, and the other one to pry underneath it. Because when you pull the input shaft out, it gives you that little space to go underneath it, and then pry it towards you, and away from it, and it lets you pretty much pull that pin out. So they give you this little, pretty much a millimeter shim, and goes on the inside, just like that, and you put your clip back in. Same way. I'll have to be off camera for a moment because there's no space here. You can put it in, stretch it out, and then just push it in and that's it. And then I'll show you how to put the uh, cover back on. So now with the uh, shim in there, you'll notice right here, you have like almost no play anymore. This will stop the crazy rattle that uh, six speeds have uh, under load, like when you're like downshifting uh, or even accelerating. This stops that type of vibration. Once there's more fluid in there, it'll stop even more. 
uh, with the new cap you need a, here's your new cap all you need to do is center it by hand get a rubber mallet never use metal on metal use uh, a rubber mallet and then just you tap literally in a circle unless it wants to not go in 100% one way until it's flat you know, until you see this seam right here is it's, it's like pretty much perfect don't try to go beyond that because then it will actually hit the middle uh, part of the uh, bearing and it might want to like spin the, the, the cover and cause a leak so that's pretty much it though that's uh, an O2, O2M, O2M six-speed chatter repair uh, how much was the part? $22 for both $22 for the whole entire thing uh, that's just a cover that's the part number for the cover uh, LECS yeah. sells it for like 13 something. But trust ECS. Oh, and here's the washer part number right here. AC053 F431. So the top one. Uh, the top one? Oh, the WF. Never mind. I stand corrected. There it is on the top. These are the two part numbers you need to do this repair, okay, guys? Awesome repair. Did not know about this. Now I do. Thanks to Lexus and Lena's uses a Mark IV as a guinea pig today. And we're actually going to be doing some uh, a DIY on fender rolling uh, soon, so stay tuned for that. All right, guys. Thanks again. Thanks for watching Pinch Owl's Garage with uh, with special guest Lexus <laughs> and his Mark IV GLI. We'll do some. Uh, I'll give you guys a video of it later.